Now, as I say, I'd like to uh, uh, have the gentleman come out who gave Louis his first music lessons 53 years ago, Mr. Peter Davis. Here he is. Mr. Davids, it's a great uh, pleasure to meet you indeed. Now, um, I'd like to ask you some questions about the young Louis Armstrong. When he first arrived at your home, uh, could you tell right away that he wanted to be a musician? We could, yes. Yeah. How could you tell that? Because he organized quartets, singing. Mm -hmm. Then he introduced dancing out there, tap dancing. The boys would clap and sing and he would sing and dance. Mm -hmm. And I was playing with a jazz band at that time. You were playing with a jazz band? Yeah, when I leave the horn there and take some, he'd sneak around there and pick up the horn and go to blowing. Ah. So we had old Buell out there and uh, we used to blow the police whistle. <laughs> and say, well, no, that sounds too much like jail for juvenile. <laughs> and it's time to run some bugle calls from the army on the, uh, then we had a book. How about the bugle? Mm -hmm. Then he blew the bugle. Louis blew the bugle. Huh? Blew the bugle for the line, for the, it's a mess call. Yeah, that's my And after he blew it so well, <laughs> I cut him on the horn. Yeah, so then he learned the finger. Yeah, first he saw the puff, and I showed him how to pull his jaw, and then uh, then when I did get in the play, when the saints go marching in, put on the old gray bonnet, it was a high note to be out. Because that's the end of the strain. Yeah. None of the other boys couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't make it myself. So, so he, he would blow the high sea above the steps, letting us know that's the end of the string. I'll bet. How soon yeah. after you took lessons yeah. from Mr. Davis did you start to play professionally, Louis? As soon as I got out. <laughs> 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 that's right. I run into uh, Joe Oliver and those Joe boys, Oliver. and uh, every time one of those uh, boys would be late or uh, couldn't make it, they let you they'd, sit they'd, they'd say, "Go down and get little, a little bit, a little Louis." That's yeah. my name, Little Louis. Little Louis. And I, I used to sit in with those boys. Is that right, Mr. Yeah. Davis? You taught a lot of young fellas to play, didn't you? Oh, yes, yeah, a whole lot of many instruments. I yeah, we had uh, a wonderful brass band, and uh, we used to. Uh, Go around and pass the hat. <laughs> and you remember you made me lead up the little band? Yeah, you little band. And I went into my neighborhood, you know, around uh, where the hockey chunks uh, and the uh, story and all them places. And all the, the, the gamblers and everything. Yeah. They asked Mr. Davis, uh, so I said, you got a little Lewis in there. I said, uh, could we give him some money, you know? Uh -huh. He said, that's all right. We need some instruments. And uh, they passed the hat for me. And we had enough money to by a whole band full of well, well, brand new instruments and everything. <laughs> We found out a little while ago that Mr. Davis has not played uh, this or any other horn in about 50 years. Uh, he doesn't have any uh, chops at the moment, he wants us to know. Uh, but it would be fun and a thrill if you would just uh, try to blow a little bit. Would you do that? Uh, well, well, you know, and I'm pretty old too. Why don't we do <laughs> it? We want to down in near the piano. We have a rhythm section with Norman and the fellow. Come on back here, Bob. Yeah. Louis, uh, this was, by the way, not rehearsed. Uh, Louis, we didn't even see him until we got on the air. Oh, you got a horn. Great. I was going yeah, to smoke some. Isn't that a funny bit? boy's horn there. Good. I told him to take them hamburgers out of it. <laughs> what would you like to play? When the saints go marching in. When the saints go marching in. Let's see what happens here. Huh? I want him to start off with something. Oh, okay. 